各位同学，大家好！很高兴这一周又在空中与大家相会。呃，我们上一周已经介绍过了有关于纽西兰的 basic information， 在这一周开始，我们将会介绍各种不同的主题。呃，比方说今天 a backpacker in New Zealand three， 我们要介绍的是有关于 accommodation。那首先我们先介绍我们的特别来宾 Laura。Hi everyone. My name is Laura. Today we're going to talk about accommodation in New Zealand, and what kind of accommodation you should choose so that you can have a fabulous time in New Zealand. For me, I chose to stay at a farmstay, and later I'll talk a bit about that. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Ah,、uh, now let's look at more film clips about New Zealand. Now we're going to look at more film clips about New Zealand. Okay.、Uh, there are many different kinds of accommodation, Laura.、Yes. And you said that you stay at a farm stay.、Mm -hmm. Could you introduce a bit about it? Okay.、Um, what is a farm stay? Farm stay is 农庄 and I took some pictures. 我们可以来看一下我的照片，就是我们那时候拍摄 in a farm stay. There was a lovely couple, and they raised cattle. And this is a picture of the cattle they raised. They have raised many cattle, and they have brought them to the farm. And the next picture is the cattle. They have raised sheep. And as you can see, they left their land. 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 And because the next day they had to sell their sheep, they 隔天要把他们的羊卖出去，所以我们就能参观一下他们到底是怎么样子去呃让那些 sheep dog 牧羊犬来追赶那些羊群。那我们现在可以看一段影片，就是关于呃纽西兰的 farm stays 的介绍。Okay, as you can see, it's very, very beautiful. So I think if you have a chance to go to New Zealand, you should at, you should definitely stay in one of those farm stays because you can get a peek of how life it is as a farmer in New Zealand. Josh, if it was you, um, which place would you want to live in a farm stay or in a campsite? Um, perhaps a farm stay because it sounds very interesting. Because I've never been there before. But when I was in Europe, I was a backpacker, and I stay at youth hostels. And today we are going to introduce more about youth hostels. Laura,、yes. could you introduce more about the film clips? 
。OK， so 我们接下来看一个关于青年旅社的影片《Youth Hostels》。As you can see, if you're like a budget traveler, then probably you won't have enough money. So you'll choose to stay in one of those used hostels, which is cheaper but also very clean. So you can get to、um, stay at a very safe and clean place. Okay. 因为我们在课文中呢，也会再提到 Victor， 他当时是一个 backpacker， 然后他当时也是有呃住在 youth hostels， 因为他想要成为一个 budget traveler， 所以呢，我们在这课里面会多提一些有关于 accommodation 的，就是里面的内容介绍设备的部分。那首先我们先看一下课文。课文的话，就是在第一段的地方，我们看一下，这个是 review 之前我们所提过的 basic information。There are two main islands in New Zealand, the North Island and the South Island. The South Island is slightly bigger than the North Island. The largest city in New Zealand is Auckland, which has a population of approximately 900,000 people. It is the perfect place to start your tour of New Zealand. There are three major ethnic groups: European immigrants, 88%; Maori, 9%; and Pacific Islanders, 2%; and other, 1%. Around 81% people are Christians. New Zealand has a fact: sheep are more than people. Therefore, New Zealand has strong exports in meat, wool. And dairy products. 好，我们现在看一下，这是呃上一次我们有提过的一些 basic information。那在这边我们再 review 一下。首先我们看一下，在纽西兰有两个大岛，一个是北岛跟南岛。那上一次有提到是由库克海峡分隔开来的，但是这一次我们提到是 the South Island is slightly bigger than the North Island。同学先看一下这个单词 slightly。Slightly， 这边的意思是稍微的，稍微的，它是一个副词的用法，呃，形容词的用法是 slight， 轻微的，稍微的。再来，下面一个 information 是 the largest city is in New Zealand is Auckland。上一次有提到有关，呃，大概是 one third of people。People live in Auckland. 大约是三分之一的人口都是住在奥克兰。那所以现在讲到的是 ，which has a population of approximately nine hundred thousand people. 我们看一下这个新的单词是 a pro a population 是人口的意思 ，population。另外一个是大概的，大约的 ，approximately approximately 大概。再来下面 ，It is the perfect place to start your tour of New Zealand. 通常大家是会坐飞机到 Auckland 的机场，然后开始自己就是这个纽西兰的行程。另外，我们所知道纽西兰很多的 European immigrants， 很多的欧洲来的移民者，然后还有毛利人、当地人所组合而成的。所以我们看一下这个 information。他说 ，There are three major ethnic groups. 所谓的 ethnic， ethnic 是指种族的意思。ethnic。另外，下面第一种是 European immigrants， 这大概是百分之八十八。European 是欧洲的 ，immigrant， immigrant 是移民者，移民者。所以，欧洲来的移民者大概是百分之八十八。Maori。是百分之九左右 ，Maori。再来是 Pacific Islanders， 就是在太平洋岛上面的呃人，大概是百分之二左右。还有其他的种族，大概是百分之一。Around eighty one percent people are Christians. Christian 是指基督徒的意思。New Zealand has a fact: sheep are more than people， 就是羊群比人还要多。因此 ，therefore， 因此 ，New Zealand has strong exports in meat, wool, and dairy products. 大家请看一下 ，exports 就是出口的意思，就是出口品，有很多的出口品。呃，一个是肉类，还有 wool, wool, 
，卧是羊毛的意思。那同学刚刚有看到，就是羊群比人还要多，所以卧，呃，这边的话是很强，就是很大宗的出口品。再来是 dairy products， 乳制品的意思 ，dairy products。我们先休息一下，等一下再继续做 accommodation 的介绍。我们接下来要介绍的是 accommodation。那首先要先介绍 Victor， 他在行前的时候携带了哪些东西？我们请 Laura 帮我们念一下课文。Accommodation. As a frequent mountain climber, I had a clear mind of what to bring and how to be a backpacker. The following are what I prepared: a sleeping bag, a tent, a sheet, a backpack, official documents, my passport. Travelers checks, insurance receipts, etc. Because ah、uh, Victor, he is a frequent mountain climber. We look at frequent is to say often. It means he often goes up mountains. So I had a clear mind of what to bring and how to be a backpacker. I think for someone who is not experienced, being a backpacker is a very scary thing. The following are what I prepared. 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 A sleeping bag. 大家应该都知道 ，sleeping bag 就是睡袋的意思。再来下一个单词是 a tent， 帐篷。下一个单词 a sheet， sheet 是床单的意思。因为如果大家是住在 youth hostel 的话，通常他会要求你会自己使用自己的床单。另外是 a backpack， backpack 就是一个背包。Official documents. Official documents 是一些官方的文件，重要的一些文件。My passport, travelers checks， 这边大家应该都知道，就是旅行支票，还有 insurance receipt， etc.， 还有是保险的一个收据。那这些都是一些重要文件要携带在身上的。下面就是 Victor， 他当时去纽西兰的时候，在选择呃 accommodation 的时候，他所知道的就是有两个主要大的 provider。我们现在先请 Laura 帮我们念一下下面的一段。Among the choices of accommodations, staying in backpacker hostels is an economical way of accommodation choice. Two of the largest backpacker accommodation providers in New Zealand are BBH and YH. BBH is an abbreviation for budget and backpacker hostel. It is a chain system and has around 370 hostels throughout New Zealand. The average fee per night is 16 New Zealand dollars. I usually choose dormitory type rooms with four beds and shared facilities. BBH cater for budget travelers, so they offer low prices. Not like the hotels offering room service or bellhops, BBH provides the following: communal kitchen facilities and all cooking utensils, laundry facilities, toilet shower facilities, communal lounge. 我们看到这一段里面就是有很多的呃、uh, choices of accommodation。那在这么多的选择之中，我们会用 among 这样子的介系词，呃，介系词 among。那首先一个就是 staying in backpack backpacker hostels is an economical way of accommodation choice。那我们可以看到，在这里面有提到的两大的 provider， 一个是 BBH， 一个是 YH。OK， 那其中他这边所说的 BBH， 它主要的缩写。Abbreviation 就是指 budget and backpacker hotel hostel。这边的话 ，budget 是说有预算的意思 ，backpacker 就是背包客的意思 ，hostel 这边是旅社的意思。所以呢 ，it is a chain system， 它是一个连锁的系统 ，chain system 就是在每个地方，就是在纽西兰的很多的主要的大城市都可以看到 BBH。所以呢，呃，大概在纽西兰，大概有三百七十家 hostels throughout。这边是遍及纽西兰南岛跟北岛都有，大概有。
加起来三百七十家的 hostels。The average fee per night. 每一个晚上的平均的费用大概是十六元的纽币，所以 Victor 呢，他常常选择的是 dormitory type rooms， 呃，宿舍的形式的呃房间。那宿舍形式的话，就是四床，然后 and shared facilities。shared facilities 就是呃共用的设备 ，facility 是设备的意思 ，facility。BBH cater for budget travelers, so they offer low prices. 因为 BBH 它主要的是给有预算的旅行者所呃就是所需住的，所以它的价钱比较低。Not like the hotels offering room service or bellhops, BBH provides the followings. 因为它并不是像 hotel 还有 room service 还有一些侍者的服务，所以呢 ，BBH 它提供了下面的东西。那下面的东西就是 communal kitchen facilities， 就是因为我们之后会讲到，呃，如果你是一个 backpacker 的话，你会在 youth hostel 里面会碰到很多的 international friends。那如果因为大家都是一个 budget traveler， 所以大家会希望是自己煮饭，所以如果有一个 communal kitchen 的话。大家就是共用厨房，然后可以使用那边的设备，还有这边所说的 old cooking utensils， 所有的厨具。通常我们在厨房，就是在餐一起用餐的时候呢，就是可以跟各各国不同的友人一起在交谈，然后可以去 share 一些 traveling experience， 或者是可以。呃，我们在未来的第四课会提到的以食会友，就是呢可以享受到呃每个国家带来不同的不同种类的食物。下面我们还在讲 BBH 还会提供了 laundry facilities。我们看一下 laundry 的意思是洗衣的意思，就是会有洗衣设备。那有时候。呃，如果说呃大家是有大件衣服的话，是可以用 laundry， 就是就是投币式的呃洗衣设备。再来，下面是 toilet and shower facilities， 就是盥洗的设备，以及 communal lounge， 这边是呃大会会会客厅的意思。通常我们在会客厅可以看电视或是交谈。那因为我当时在欧洲的时候是一个 backpacker， 我当时也是有很多住在 youth hostel 的经验。啊、呃，我们之后会讲到 youth hostel， 有的时候是在一个比较偏僻的地方，有时候是离火车站就是有相当远的地方。那 Laura， I don't know， um， because you just mentioned that you stay in a farm stay， but would you like to try this kind of a very economical way of traveling accommodation because Um, it's for budget travelers. What do you think? I think that if I went with my family, I would like to stay in places much more comfortable, like hotels or farm stays. But if I went with a bunch of friends, then I'd like to try this out. Okay.、Yes. But do you want to be a backpacker? Maybe with a lot of friends. Then I think it's much more fun, but not with my family. I think not. Okay. Yes. Okay. 刚刚 Laura 有提到了，就是说，如果是跟家人一起去的话，希望住的比较舒服一点。那如果是跟朋友，就是年轻人的话，就是可以去呃去试这样子比较呃客难的方式，但是也是比较有趣的方式。那我们现在先呃休息一下，等一下我们还有更多的内容要介绍，待会见。我们刚刚有提到了 BBH， 那另外一个系统就是 YH。我们现在请 Laura 帮我念下一段。YHA Youth Hostels Association is another hostel system. It has better facilities but has fewer locations in New Zealand. You don't have to worry about curfews and there is 24-hour guest access. Clean sheets, duvets, and pillows are available. The most exciting thing is that most hostels provide free internet access. 我们看到这边所说的 YHA 的 abbreviation 是指 Youth Hostels Association。那这是另外一个 hostel system。这边的话是旅社，就是青年旅社的一个系统。
YH 的话，它是有比较好的 facilities， 就是比较好的设备，但是在纽西兰呢，却是比较少的地点，就是它的 location， 它它所占有的地方，就是它的营运点是比较少的。You don't have to worry about curfews. Curfew 的意思是宵禁的意思。Curfew. Curfew 的意思就是有些城市甚至会规定，比方说十点之后，晚上十点之后，未满十八岁的呃，就是青少年跟小孩子是不能单独的出外的，这是 curfew 的意思。还有 there is twenty four hour guest access， 还有二十四小时的旅客自由的进出 access， 我们可以就是把它说成是入口或者是说进出的意思。所以它会提供什么呢？有的时候，这个 Y H 因为刚刚说过，就是它的设备比较好，它会提供 clean sheets, duvets, and pillows are available. Available 的意思是提供的意思。The most exciting thing is that most hostels provide free internet access. 因为呃，就是很多的青年旅社，大部分都是要。呃，对于上网可能就是要收取费用，所以呢 ，Y H 的话，它在这边的话是会提供免费的上网的服务，就是你可以去使用网际网路的。再来下面，呃，就是大部分的青年旅社有哪些的呃东西可以供呃旅行者可以使用呢？我们先看下一段。The majority of youth hostels have kitchens and utensils for the pack packers to use. You don't have to dine out, and you can save a lot of money on food. There are usually supermarkets near the youth hostels, and you have a lot to choose from. 我们在这边可以看到一个单词是 the majority of youth hostels. The majority of 就是大部分的意思。大部分青年旅社都是有厨房，还有一些。用具 utensil utensil 的话是用具的意思，都会提供给 backpacker 去使用。所以，因为我们刚刚说这边都是给 budget traveler， 所以呢， you don't have to dine out。dine out 是说外食的意思，就是去外面用餐。然后，呃， you can save a lot of money on food。你也可以在食物上面省了非常多的费用。而且通常在 youth hostel 附近都是有 supermarkets， and you have a lot to choose from。那我记得我在欧洲旅行的时候，当一个 backpacker 的时候，大家都很希望去省费用，所以呢，我们通常都是会去 supermarket， 甚至会去 daily， 就是会去购买一些他们的熟食。那这样子的话，也可以去享受一些还蛮不错的，就是当地的风味。那有的时候是。呃，买当地的一些食材自己来煮的话，比方说煮 spaghetti， 或者是像呃蛋炒饭，或者是说一些面条，或是马铃薯之类的话，也是比较便宜，而且比较呃就是适合 budget traveler， 呃去购买的一些食物。我们接下来再看一下还有什么呃其他的 advantage， 我们看一下下一段。One of the advantages of staying at a youth hostel is that you will meet a bunch of international friends and even travel with them to certain spots. It is also a good chance for you to chat with foreign friends and share your traveling experiences while cooking. You may also want to change your itinerary and take the advice you receive to go on a nice tour. In addition to the planned schedules, I also took some advice and joined some tours, like Queen Charlotte Track. Booked tours usually offer nice accommodation, like a pension, where there will be less than ten tourists. You will see spectacular views and scenery when you look out the window. This is really rewarding. 在这边看到，就是 one of the advantages of staying at the youth hostel， 就是我们看到住在青年旅社的呃一个好处之一，就是 you will meet a lot of a bunch of international friends， 你会碰到许多的国际的友人。我们刚刚有提到 ，and even travel with them to certain spots， 就是可以跟他们一起一起到某一些定点。spot 是地点的意思。It is also a chance. 
for you to chat with foreign friends and share your traveling experiences while cooking. 就说呢，对你来说，这也是在煮饭的时候，你也可以跟很多的外国友人一起去聊天，甚至去 share 你的 traveling experiences。那我想，这也是 Victor 他想要选择作为一个 backpacker 的原因之一，因为这样这样子不但是可以省一下预算，然后也可以。呃，练习他自己的英文能力，我想这个是对很多呃，就是同学来说的话，也许是一个不错的一个选择。再来下面，他说 ，You may also want to change your itinerary. Itinerary 这个字的话，我们之前有提到，就是路线，就是我们在旅行的时候常常有很多的行程，那有一个旅行的计划，也是一个 itinerary。那通常就是你会碰到有一些 interna international friends， 他们有时候已经去过了某些定点，那你可以听取他的建议。有时候是因为天气的关系，或者是说像 Laura 她之前曾经去过，碰到，呃，您刚刚说是 snowstorm， oh, snowstorm， yes，、嗯、in New Zealand、mm。-hmm. Could you share this with us? Oh, when I met the snowstorm and we were going to Milford Sound, you, um, before, but then we met the snowstorm, so we couldn't go there. So we had to see a power plant instead. 嗯哼，就是有的时候因为天候的关系，我们必须要呃，就是改变行程。那因为 Laura 她之前也是有碰过这样子的情况，所以如果呃，就是您是在参加。您是住在 Utah 优塔的话，有一些朋友他会给你一些不错的 advice， 比方说像 Victor， 他在下一段有说 ，In addition to the planned schedules， 除了这些已经预定好的行程之外 ，I also took some advice and joined some tours。有时候你会听别人的建议，然后会去跟团，像是 Queen Charlotte Track， 那这是。呃，就是一个践行蛮不错的一个一个行程。Book tours usually offer nice accommodation. 通常，呃，就是预定好的行程。Book tours 就是预定的行程，都会住的比较不错。Like a pension where there will be less than ten tourists. 大概是民宿，呃，民宿这样子的一个情况。而且他这边有提到。啊，风景是非常的漂亮，非常壮观。我们是用 spectacular 这个字，然后他也提到说，这样子这样子的情况，可以由国际友人的口中能得到这样子 advice 是非，而且可以住在这样子不错的地方，是非常的 rewarding， 是非常值得的意思。我们现在先看啊、呃，再继续看下面最后一段有关于 camping 的部分。Camping. If you are a budget traveler, you can also choose some camping sites. Camping is relatively much cheaper and a real bargain, but most camping sites are located in rural areas and not very convenient. Otherwise, camping sites have all the facilities youth hostels offer, except that you sleep in a tent. So I carried my sleeping bag, which had fur to keep me warm. I also slept in a tent near the seashore, which was splendid. 我们现在看一下 camping 的意思是露营的意思。那 camping 的话，他说，如果你是要成为一个呃 budget traveler 的话，能选择 camping site 的话也是很不错的。camping site 就是露呃露营点，它是一个 relatively much cheaper， 就是比较便宜，而且 a real bargain， 就是比较呃廉价的一个方式。那除除了它是一个呃，它有所有的设备，然后呢，也可以。就是让你，就是除了你是住在 sleeping bag 之外，其他都是跟 youth hostel 一样，享受所有的 facilities。我们今天课文就讲到这边为止，谢谢大家收看，下次再会，拜拜。See you next time.